Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video, thank you all the members of the Patreons, make sure to subscribe and let's get into it guys. So let's take a proper look on the main tank event vehicle and to see if it actually is worth it to get it or not. We already did on the SU-25BM, but now let's talk a little bit about the Patria CTCV 105 HP tank destroyer. So very interesting tank, it's not... The most exciting one for me personally, but it's still fairly, fairly okay, uh, especially for the Swedish Tech 3 that I don't particularly have a lot of tanks. Uh, it is basically um, using the Patria AFE, I think it's called, uh, but it has basically a gun on top to make it kind of a, like a, a tank destroyer slash light tank, right? So it doesn't have a lot of armor. But it is very, very fast. It can get to up to 100 kilometers per hour on the road. And it has a stabilizer so on the gun, so that will help a lot. Of course, as you can see, bounces a lot. It's very, very tall, especially because, as you can see over here, it has a, a, a spacer on the turret as well. So it's very high, like very, very high. Uh, or very tall, sorry, very tall. Uh, it has small grenade launchers, it has thermal imagers, and it will have a, a 105 rifled gun, you know, um, and it has heat, hash, and two APFSDS rounds. Uh, it is basically the same gun as the CV90105. So it is pretty interesting. The XC8 over here. Uh, it should be a, having around 400 millimeters of penetration. So I don't know the BR of this thing. I would say like 10.0 maybe. Or I mean, they're changing the BRs right now. So we kind of don't know where this thing will end up being, way, being in. But it is... A fairly interesting tank. I think for Finnish mains or Swedish mains, it is very interesting. But to be honest, I think the majority of the players will sell this vehicle. Um, because it is not very appealing for the majority of players, I would say. It's not a Russian or American or German vehicle, right? Uh, so ended up being la more sold than anything else. I, I would say, I mean, I, I might be completely wrong. I'm trying to just you know, predict a little bit, I think the SU-25 will be worth more than this, because people will like to have that more than this thing. Uh, but still, might have the contrary, um, you know, effect, because maybe a lot of people will just not get this vehicle, and then the number will be lowered in the market, making the price go upwards as well. So, uh, we have to wait and see. But I have a feeling that the SU-25 will eventually have a, maybe not right from the get-go, but eventually might have a higher price than this thing. We will need to wait and see. Um, but it is supposed to be a fairly good tank. It is apparently the prototype of the um, this vehicle, right? But they say that the vehicle was adopted by the Finnish army in 2003, but I think... This version did not. I really don't know. I have to actually take a look. But uh, I think th they are saying just the, the, the normal AF a AMV over here. Not the actual gun version. But my, I might be wrong. Uh, apparently it is in service with um, fin the Finnish army. You know, the Polish army, South African army and Slovenian. And even Sweden as well. So And other countries. So yeah, it's a very, very interesting tank. And yeah. Hopefully, it's competitive enough to be worth to actually keep it, oh, nah, right? Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I see you guys on the next one. Let me know in the comments what do you think about the Patria CTCV, and take a look on the other videos about the summary event, okay? Bye, guys. See ya.